we've got two different things happening. If they're kind of brand new and they don't have, you know, they don't have the website traffic, they don't have the audience, like maybe yeah. some advice on how to start getting that. And then some advice on, you know, how to like run their first challenge. Like what, what advice would you share? Well, um, on the traffic side of things, I, I guess you can always buy the traffic if you're comfortable doing that. There's no question, but you can obviously hustle too on social media. You can get out there on YouTube and you can do your live broadcast. You can tell people, you can comment on other people's blogs and videos and all that and mention everything that you're doing that you want to do. There's use Twitter, use LinkedIn, use whatever challenges are uh, channels that you have available to promote what you're doing. And I think if you're, Either way, whether you knew or not, just make sure that what you design in terms of teaching is going to be so kick ass. Everyone's going to love it. They're going to love you. Then even if you don't make any money off the first one, or you don't have a big enough audience to make any real money, you're going to start building a real reputation for yourself. And if you build a reputation, everything else is going to follow for sure. Um, so that's really yeah, it's hard for me to go back in time and think like when we didn't have the audience and the traffic and all that stuff. But you, yeah, you just build it up over time. Just start, do something now. Because well, I think you kind of hit it there too, you know, putting yourself out there, putting your expertise out there, putting your passion out there anywhere and everywhere that you can. I don't think there's any one strategy. Like I talk to people all the time. They're like, do I need to be blogging? Do I need to be doing video? Do I need to be do as much as you can do that's authentically you, whatever is comfortable. Yeah. And, and aim your, aim your most of your hours towards the things that you're going to be passionate enough about. Because if you hate blogging, then you're going to dread the idea of sitting down. You're going to procrastinate writing blogs. But if you like doing live videos, jump on and do a bunch of live videos and see who can maybe even invite you into a live maybe you can get uh, invited onto a clubhouse stage or onto somebody else's podcast or youtube channel see if you can get interviewed by somebody and mention that you're doing this challenge that's coming up and you know even if you don't know what the heck it's going to be i would say create some sort of like uh, early bird list, not early bird list, but waiting list. That's probably the best way to do it. Like, yeah. Hey, I'm doing this. I'm putting together an awesome challenge. That's going to help people who are in X bucket meet Y outcome or transformation. It's going to be happening. I don't know the exact dates or time yet, but it's going to be several days of awesome kick-ass training. And I have put a page together where you can get on the notification list. It's totally free. Get over there now and sign up, right? I'll let you yeah, know when I we're going live. Awesome was even recommending that the other day when we were talking to him. He was like, I don't build anything without trying to sell it first. He puts together yeah. a landing page and, you know, a wait list or a coming soon or a, Holy you know, show shit. interest. I'll even tell people like, hey, this is something I'm considering doing. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you, you know, if you would get it, if I did it. So, I mean, like some of the biggest gurus out there, they're just throwing stuff up and seeing what sticks and yeah. you're seeing what's going to generate, you know, buzz yeah. with the audience before they oh, even build I'll it. I'll share this one with you too. So I was having a chat with my marketing agency who runs all my ads and stuff, right? And um, the guy who, the, the main guy, his name's Matt. Matt and I were talking and he says, you know, this challenge went really well. I think that we ought to take, and then we have this other campaign where we give away a free course. It's about a 45 minute language skills course for learning hypnosis. And we get really cheap leads, like a buck and a bit a lead, buck and a half, maybe something like that. And I know that that course is well loved and is a good entry into this challenge that we're doing anyway. And Matt says to me, what if we just start on the thank you page for the free opt-in that you're doing the free course? What if we say, Oh, by the way, we regularly do a free training that's several days long that dives even deeper in this material. Would you like to be signed up for that? And they'll go, yeah, of course. Right. So boom, if you already have a lead magnet that kind of plays into the challenge that you're thinking of, why not maybe modify your thank you page do a cut, like do a video. Of course, challenges are always delivered by video, right? Or they're, they're always going to be training. So put a video on your thank you page that says, Hey, thank you so much for requesting freebie X, Y, Z. I'm going to be doing a live training that goes deeper into this. That's totally free. Would you like to sign up for it in advance? And if so, just click this button. And I'm sure you can use automation and stuff like that automatically tags them in your CRM and you'll get a sense of how many people are like, yeah, I would like to do that. And it'll, 
I think it'll give you the confidence that you're ready to do it. So that's, that's my advice. And then in terms of the actual challenge itself, figure out like, pretend you're teaching something in an actual classroom. What's your curriculum? What are the exercises that you're going to be either demonstrating or asking people to do? Probably not a good idea to do breakout training in, in this kind of environment. I think for a challenge, just teach and give them their homework to do later. But think about everything from what are your introductory stories and metaphors or whatever? What are you teaching? Um, what offer and when do you make the offer? When do you remind them about the offer and the VIP and all the stuff that they can do? When do you give them their homework? And what challenges do you give them to bring a response into the Facebook group? So instead of just, okay, thanks again and good night and hanging up, right. tell them what to do next. Like, so what your homework is this. I want you to go and find someone who you can practice this particular exercise with. And then if you can't find someone, by the way, there's 3000 people in the Facebook group find someone, just put a post up that says, Hey, I need a practice partner. You guys can organize a zoom session and do this, do this, do this. And if you're really gutsy, record your zoom call, drop it in the Facebook group for everyone to watch and then comment on it, invite people to engage with each other and give out prizes if you can. So we gave out, um, we have these branded shirts that we, this is an old one, but uh, we have black one, black ones. I gave t-shirts to people who were participating in the Facebook group. Like, Hey, that was awesome. Can I send you a shirt? Reach out to support at Mike Mandel hypnosis.com. We're going to send you a shirt. And if you do that, I think that's, that's a great yeah, way to Pedro build. Does that in, at almost yeah. every challenge. He's got well, a I list of that. things that if you do your homework and he's yeah. giving away those giveaways the whole time. I, I, I learned that from Pete Vargas, who was giving away like iPads and other things yeah. like that. They he had gave a away like budget. a vibe board on one of them. He gave away yeah. like a surface computer, iPads, iPhones. It doesn't have to be fancy things. You'd be surprised what people do for t-shirts. Like Absolutely. So, uh, we had the shirt and it's like, well, you're giving away your own brand. So of course that makes sense. But I was even thinking, okay, could have done Amazon gift cards or something like that. But yeah. do like at least encourage people to participate and engage in the Facebook group. So you can kind of, call, you can call them out. In the next day, you can say like, oh, hey, Christina and Rob were together and they posted a video practicing this hypnotic tool that we taught yesterday. It was a great video. I encourage yeah. you all to go watch it, that kind of thing. Yeah, I know Pedro has been putting a lot more focus on to try and get people to do the homework. Like I just mm. sat through his three day intensive, he's calling it instead of a challenge, he's calling it three day intensive. It is like an hour and a half in the morning and an hour and a half at night. With the oh, hour and cool. a half at night each day, focus on helping them get through the homework. So answering yeah. questions about the homework, walking them through the homework step by step. So he's putting a lot more effort into getting people to do the homework. Who knows how that pays off? That's yeah. the first time I've seen it, but that's something to throw out in the world. Um, so I know, be respectful of your time here. Chris, thank you so much you're for so taking welcome. the time to share this experience with us today. This is amazing. Oh, uh, you're um, more than welcome. It was fun. I'm definitely going to have you back when you do the hybrid one too. So we'll do that. Yeah. Later. Yeah. Okay. You got my commitment. <laughs> I'll be back. And entrepreneurs, this is your call to take action. You know, learn from people like Chris and all of our other experts that are doing a lot of really cool things in our community. You can head over to etatoday.zone to learn how to build a business that enables your lifestyle instead of taking over your life. So head over there and I'll see you in the group.